did not mean for that to go off, but we'll keep that in the live. What's going on, everybody? It's King Midas Collects, your boy that can be only Vaughn trying to do this thing live over on Twitch.tv. Uh, you know, something something smooth, quiet, slow today. Uh, we're going to be just doing a mail call. We'll see if anyone pops in the chat. Otherwise, uh, we'll just act like we're live and talking to the whole audience. So, um... Uh, we finally got a things from another world order in from two weeks ago. I figured I'd kind of show you guys some of the books that are actually on my reading list that I get. Uh, it's quite a bit, but um, these are this is what I get on a weekly basis. I'm just not able to show you guys every time uh, it's a new comic book day for the comic talk. I show you what I pick up at the LCS. It's not necessarily everything that I buy on a Wednesday. So we're gonna dive into that and a couple of other things we have that have come in the mail. Uh, last uh, five or six days since our last video essentially uh, it's quite a bit of stuff and there's more stuff coming in too because we're gearing up to try to do one uh, a show pretty soon that's that's my goal is to get things listed and try to sell some things soon uh, apparently YouTube there's a lot of community garage sale slash auctions that happen within the combat community so maybe just jump in with somebody and see if they have a slot open so to speak you know who you are out there? Come let your boy on. Uh, bring your boy on to your show. <laughs> so we're just going to start off with some Peach Momoko love here. Jane Foster, Mighty Thor, number four. Just love Peach Momoko. A lot of people don't like her. Uh, Lady Hell. We got two copies of this because the covers are fire. These are definitely cover buys. So uh, I did read the first issue. Uh, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know anything about Lady Hell, so... Is what it is, but here's just a Lucio Parillo cover. So we just pick up Parillos because, like I say, he's the man. Masquerade here because I love Kevin Smith and he's writing this. So new number one by uh, Kevin Smith for Dark Horse. So check that out. Uh, I think consensus from some podcasts I listened to said it was, uh, it was all right. Nightwing number 96. The Jamal, Cam is it Jamal Campbell? The Cardstock variant. It is not. Somebody named Price. Public Domain. Chip Zdarsky is, you know, just a phenomenal writer. So we pick up almost everything that he's doing. I think this was a Substack book initially. And then they, they finally put it out to print. Rogue's Gallery, number three. Pretty interesting book. Got optioned. But we know how image books that get optioned end up they get option and we don't hear about it for a long time so i don't know why people spec on it and mean oh my god they're making a tv show and they got options it's gonna be like three or four years everybody's gonna forget about it by then and then by the time it comes out nobody's gonna be like trying to buy the book shirtless bear fighter volume two number two there mandalorian number three and yeah, these are these are definitely from two weeks ago. So, not last week's books, but the week before. This is cool. This is a uh, stuff of nightmares. This is the glow in dark, glow in the dark, Frank Avella variant. There, pretty cool. It's like got uh, it's like embossed the cover, and then another another cover there. This one's pretty creepy looking. Trying to make sure that the glare's not on it for y'all. Next up, uh, Best of Starscream, Transformers. Really like that IDW is doing this. They've done it for Ninja Turtles first, then they moved the Transformers, and they're also doing it for G.I. Joe. So I'm trying to think of another IDW property they could do. Uh, Terminator, maybe. Best of Terminator they could do. But unfortunately, on the very bottom of this um, is some color rub. This is going to show up. This is going to show up. Oh, wait, it's on the other side there. Yeah, see that right there on the corner? Some color rub. So it happens, though. What are you going to do? We have Usagi Ujimbo 31. I think that's the final issue of that, that volume there. Vampirella Strikes. Again, more Lucio Barrio. Vanish number one. People were talking about this because it's Kate's and Stegman. So... Is what it is. Premise seemed pretty cool though. Um, and then Daniel Warren Johnson, of course, because he kills it on every cover that he does. Daniel Warren Johnson even does interiors on that book. 
Exterminators number one. Beautiful Art Adams there. Got me uh, two copies of that one. Exterminators, Scotty Young. We pick up Scotty Young because, you know, again, we love Scotty Young. Everyone's going to have this in their, in their collection. If you love comics, I think. It's Action Comics number one. Very first appearance of Superman. This is the facsimile for 2022. It's just nice to have a copy that you can actually read. Avengers Forever number nine. Catwoman, 47, Jeff DeCall, beautiful. Creep Show number one. Black Adam, number four. Look at this paint, dude. This is beautiful. Beautiful cover. Shannon Mayer on the Dracolina. Miss MQ, hello. How are you? I didn't hear from you today. That's okay. I was I was kind of busy myself too. We got uh, two copies, of course, of Edge of Spider Verse number four. That's Spider Ham there, or a version of Spider Ham rather. So there's two copies of that, and then the uh, the B cover with uh, Spinster, the Spintra, Spin Stress. Uh, she's like a princess Spider Man character. I don't know whatever universe it is. Could be any. There's so many Marvel pockets. We have Fables 155. Love William and William and Buckingham. Hit the gym, grocery store, almost out of work. How you doing, Busy B? Well, I'm all packed, ready to go to San Diego tomorrow, so it's gonna be exciting. Long plane ride ahead. Gonna pack uh, and charge the switch, so we'll have that. We got some shows downloaded on the phone just in case, but you know. I usually tend to sleep on these things. Eternus, another copy of Eternus. Have to, have to get another copy of that. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the well wishes on the traveling. Russell Dodderman on the Fantastic Four 47. Love these. I want to get the Rogue one, but that one's like the most expensive because it was an actual one in 25, I believe. Uh, I think uh, to top it off, we'll show you these... Uh, all the Harley 30th anniversary covers. So we got the Campbell, of course. Then we got two art germs. And we showed you guys the foil ones already. So I did get the foil art germ. And then we got the foil Adam Hughes, one in 100. Cheap on the cheap, too. Bruce Tim, Harley Quinn there. Classic Batman Adventures. Now, remember when I was saying in the last video how... You can kind of cheat the system on my comic shop and get nine O's, buy nine O's because they, they tend to be conservative with their graves and grade it lower than it actually is. Well, one of them happened to be a nine O because of how it was chipped on the uh, on the spine of one of the books. So I was like, okay, this is definitely a nine O. That's fine. Um, so you know, you gamble. Sometimes you can press out those defects. Other times, it's it's going to be on the book and it deserves the nine O. <laughs> Here's uh, the Step Stefan Sajak, Sajik, Harley. I think this is like probably honestly my favorite. But I mean, I'm I'm so partial to Hughes that I just love them. Now, FOC comes in big when you're ordering anniversary books like this that are like ten dollars a piece, because if you order it FOC like I do it uh, from Things from Another World, it's thirty percent off cover price um, to order it two months in advance right so you take advantage of that because i'm only paying seven dollars as opposed to ten seven is still a lot for you know um single issue comic but it is what it is those are beautiful covers uh, adam hughes every time we're, we're gonna get multiple copies every time okay so now we're gonna move over to some some more raw books that have come in and we have some slabs for you guys too maybe you can see sneak peek right there so first up from uh, Unknown Comics, these finally came in. We picked up uh, Carla Cohen, Harley Quinn's. So trade and then minimal trade because Carla Cohen is awesome. And so is Jen Bartel. So Edge of Spider-Verse number three, Unknown Comics, Jen Bartel variant. Or 616, they're all the same, right? 
this one I got with a slab. So I'm going to show you guys from Sanctum Sanctorum. Let's take off this tape here. I got both of these. These are bundles for $7 each. So Grim issue number five, the Franny variant. And then we also got, apparently this was a one per store. So um, cool. We got the Frizzin one per store. I think this is my second copy of it though. So two copies of that, but I, I, I didn't know it was a one per store. So that's why I didn't get it in my box. I actually had the, I was supposed to get two. One from my LCS and then things from another world, but and I'm getting that because uh, the Franny one is still like a one in ten, and for seven bucks you can't beat that. Next up for another seven bucks, Vampirella Year One number three. This is the uh, Colette Turner, black and white. So I think it's like a one in five, and then a one in twenty-five Gillum March Year One. I think it's uh, probably issue one because this one is issue three, but um, it's a one in twenty-five. So a 1 in 10 and a 1 in 25, as it says on the back there, for 7 bucks, steal. Alright, so we're going to show off these slabs next. Found a whatnot seller who literally sells slabs for like, nobody's bidding on them, so it's $25. How much does it cost to slab a book? $30. Fast track, you're looking at $35, $40. So all day, every day, I, I, I'm, I'm winning these books for like $25 to $30. It's a win because you can sell the slab for $40 and that's still profit if it comes to that. But we'll hold on to these as long as we need to. First up, this one just came out. Gun Honey Blood for Blood Volume 2 Issue Number 1 in a 9.8. This is the uh, bikini variant because there's one where she's not wearing anything in that variant. And uh, if you look closely, uh, she kind of looks like, uh, she reminds me of Angela White. Hello, Miss Angela. Hi. Next up, again, about $30 for this slab here. This is uh, an older one from 1993. This is Vampirella number five. It is in the 9.4. But, you know, you don't see stuff like this slab, so definitely decided to pick it up. Cool to have. Now we're taking our time with this video. We're smooth with it. You guys are more than welcome to fast forward, do all the great things. Looks like the Yankees just won, beating Texas. Giancarlo, Stanton, and Moirin Gonzalez going deep. Judge, I think, was 0 for 3 tonight. So we're going to have to try again tomorrow for 62. And then last but not least from this uh, whatnot seller, Daredevil number one, the Peach Momoko in a 9.8. And um, again, you're getting this for like $27. So after tax, it's like 30, 31. That's about the price it takes to slab this. So usually slabs like 40, 45, 50, and depending on the artist. And, and you know, it is a number one, Chip Zdarsky writing this book. I mean, that's that's fire. All right, so this one, this one's pretty cool. So this is from um, Sanctum Sanctorum. They were doing uh, 20, I think 20% off of slabs. So anytime you get slabs that are uh, discounted, you want to take advantage because the more expensive a slab is, you're going to get a better deal when you, when you throw that discount code in. So first up from them, uh, the reason why I went to St. Torm is that they do these bundles every time the uh, these these games come out. Um, so there's five issues here for Street Fighter Masters Chun Li. So we picked up the entire bundle of these, which are fire, fire, fire covers, all variants, store exclusive variants. In fact, we're gonna have to input these into cover price. So here's one right here. That's the Ivan Tao on the jury. A cami. Again, what is what this has to do with Chun-Li? I don't know. All these variants should be Chun-Li. Check this out. A Virgin David Nakayama. Beautiful. And we're going to talk about Mr. Nakayama here shortly. 
And then uh, I can't remember Ryan Rain Gonzalez, I think your name is. Because I don't, yeah, I think that's who this is on the uh, Sakura there. You say Sakura or Sakura? So five issues there. Fire. Check them out at Sanctorum. Sanctum Sanctorum Comics. So first up, I'm going to take this out of the bag here. I love this cover. Avengers 43, the Women of Marvel. Women's Month, Women of Marvel variant. She-Hulk wearing that suit, looking fire in a 9-8. Had to pick it up. I think this was about, after the discount... 55 bucks all of these I'm definitely in the uh, positive profit margin by the way next up is a banger this is a banger it's a 9.6 but it doesn't matter you're not going to see this slab very often exiles number 3 9.6 first appearance of Peggy Carter as Captain America this is the A cover but uh, this is a big book big 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 book wish it was a 9.8 of course but the 9.6 does justice as well again for the price that I got it I got it for like close to $120 cheaper than it would normally be I think that's a win that is an absolute win because that's a sought after book next up as a video gamer you can't just say no to this when you see it um, it is a 9.4. Case is uh, it's a case chipped. Case is a bit chipped there, but that's okay. I don't think that takes away from anything. I think that, oh, actually, that might be tape. Anyway, 9.4. Super Mario Brothers number three. Apparently, there's a, uh, there's a variant of this, too. I don't know if it's a $1.50 variant, because this is $1.95. But he's like not crossing his arms and he's got his arm up like Superman, I think. So uh, Mario's pose is a little different standing on that rock. But 9-4, again, like to see this even slabbed. And if anyone had these Mario books as a kid, they certainly were reading them and tossing them around. Nobody was keeping them in pristine condition. 9-4, all day. All day. I should have saved the Exiles for last in this pile because it was the best book out of the bunch. Another 9-6 here. This is uh, Domino issue number one, the variant here, G uh, Gabriel Del Auto. Only problem with this is, is that I was thinking that this was the original version of this. So the original cover was for X-Force Sex and Violence. A uh, wild, wild book in 2009, 2010 time frame. I don't have any of those three issues anymore. I did, but I, just, I got rid of them because nobody was paying attention to stuff like that. And now people like Gabriel Del Auto, uh, just artwork alone, like people want those books. So, um, again, the price was pretty good. I love Domino and this cover. So, not going to find the original. And this is already slapped. Well, we'll add it. We'll add it to that cart. I'm happy with it. Still fantastic Del Auto cover, so you can't beat that. So that was it from Sanctum Sanctorum. And then this is going to be the final book that I show you guys. We mentioned David Nakayama. I've been on the hunt for this cover ever since I got back in the comics after the pandemic. Uh, I took a break in late 2017. 2018, I was preoccupied with school, so I didn't pay attention to comic books at all. Kind of like jumped in and at the end of 2018 to see what was going on and I bought like one or two trades about the Venom trade, Immortal Hulk and I think Justice League Volume 1 just to see what was going on and uh, didn't pick up any single issues it wasn't until just like a lot of other people uh, the pandemic hit, summertime decided to get back into it, watching Barry Gary on YouTube, just struck a chord I was like hey let's get back into this, I love it I love it, started sending books to CGC and uh, here we are now but Looking at everything that I missed from that climate, that time period, 2018 to 2020, I'm like, yo, these Nakayama covers are fire. I have to find this book. So shout out to Bryce Comics. Get that, uh, if you sign up for his newsletter, I'll send you emails every time new books come into stock. Uh, these ones, uh, these books came into stock last week. Saw it, decided to ask for, uh, because it was best offer, like, hey, I've been looking for this book. What can you do for me? We got it discounted. 
nice discount on it this is tarot number one the david nakayama in a nine eight scarlet witch books of ghost books of ghost who's got it in the nine eight show up what's up <laughs> i love hard to find variants um they're just the makeshift makeshift of my collection i am the variant hunter so i like to have books like this so anytime a uh, big artist like a del auto or a nakayama or bartel have like these sought after one in 50s ghost one one in 100s some people have uh one in two one in tens one in 25s that nobody paid attention to and now super super hard to find i'm your guy i probably have that book we're taking our time with this video i hope you guys enjoyed the uh the slow roll looks like uh, only a few people came in but that's okay i popped up on twitch without letting anyone know i really needed to film a video for youtube uh, that was the main goal, but I just kind of wanted to get on Twitch and just talk anyway. So, hope you guys liked what you saw. This is what I get from Links from Another World. This was uh, from two weeks ago. So, last week's order definitely shipped uh, on Friday. So, that's probably not going to be here until the end of the week. I told my mail carrier to hold everything since we'll be on vacation until Sunday. So, uh, <laughs> come next Monday. Oh, wait. Next Monday is a holiday, so it looks like I won't even get anything until probably Tuesday. Unless I call them up and be like, hey, you, if you're not busy on Monday, how can I go get my packages? I'll go I'll go pick them up. Um, that being said, that's going to end it here. I, I went long, but that was the purpose of this video. You guys do all those great social media things. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, find other people in the comic book community. Share your interest. Share your love. This is a great hobby. I love it glad to be a part of it been meeting some uh, new members of the community over the last weekend jumped into the auctions like i said so hopefully i can jump into some um, garage sales community sales and see if people have any interest in any of the books that i have it's going to be a good time anyway thank you so much and as always bag and boredom <laughs>